CData Arc is a B2B integration platform, and organizations frequently need to generate reports or audits to ensure visibility into their B2B transactions. In this video, I'll demonstrate how Arc's custom reporting feature helps enterprises simplify the process of reporting on your B2B data flow without the need for any external tools. So let's jump right into CData Arc. Right now, I'm looking at the Flows page, which is where we can build custom B2B integration workflows that provide fully end-to-end -end automation between my trading partners and my backend systems. But for the purposes of this video, I'll assume you're at least somewhat familiar with this workflow canvas, and we can quickly move to talking about creating custom reports. To do that, I'll head to this Reports tab up here in the top. If you're looking at your own Arc UI and you don't see this Reports tab, one of two things might be happening. One, you might be on an older build of the application, as this is only in the 2022 version and later. And two, your Arc license might not include this tab. And if that's the case, you can always email sales at cdata.com to check your licensing status. Now, once I'm here, I can see any reporting schemas that I've already configured, or create a new one by clicking this button. I'll quickly give this new reporting schema a name, and then these radio buttons allow me to choose a preset for my report. I can, of course, modify the settings in the preset, but it helps me not have to start from scratch. The connector type is the more general report type that can include any connector in ARC, of course, up to my discretion, while the EDI type focuses on EDI connectors to report specifically on processing EDI files. You can see under the EDI type, I have a few sub-options as presets. If I wanted to focus on the ISA ID, for example, that just means I'm reporting only on transactions with a single trading partner. Or perhaps I wanted to focus on transaction sets, which just means I'm reporting on all EDI files of the same type, where type here means like a purchase order or a load tender invoice or a healthcare claim, etc. For the purpose of this example, let's start with a very general preset, which would be connector, and then let's try grouping transactions by connector type. Okay, so here in the report schema, we can see those preset conditions on the left, where we have one column, which is the number of transactions, and one grouping, which is by connector type. Now there's nothing here in the actual output because we haven't run the report yet, but let's go ahead and do that now. And there we go. We can see how many transactions each type of connector in ARC has processed. But a report with just one column is a little sparse, so let's add some variables to this output. Let's say that I want visibility into how many errors are occurring within particular connectors, so I can include this error column. And then I also want to include the connector ID column so that I can trace these errors back down to specific connectors. So I can run my report again, and in very little time here, we can see a new report, now with the columns that I'm interested in. Now, we can see at a glance where the errors in ARC are occurring, and maybe this helps me answer some questions from my boss about the health of our B2B infrastructure. But let's add one more layer of complexity here, which is to group by a second condition in addition to our existing connector type grouping. Let's say that we want to segment these results by year so we can get a better time-lapse view of how ARC is processing transactions. Well, after I add this year condition, I can simply run the report again, and now, after the report runs, we can see the grouping into 2021 and 2022 in my report data, with all of the same prior conditions and columns still included. So I could continue playing around with these checkboxes here and generate more and more complicated results, but hopefully that's enough to give you a sense of how you can start building your own custom reports based on the information that you need, grouped however you like. Okay, let's say that we're happy with this and we want to show it off to the powers that be. I could simply save this report schema and then later show a colleague directly in the web UI, but I can also export this report data as a CSV file to distribute and process and perhaps integrate into a larger network of reports and audits. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And as always, you can find more resources at arc.cdata.com.